You're listening to the Ecosystem Approach Show. I'm Jason. And I'm Patricia. Tune in every Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific Time and 4 p.m. Eastern Time on Transformation Talk Radio. We discovered that human potential is severely limited when you program humans like a machine, which is standard practice today for self-improvement. The ecosystem approach teaches you how to uncover your infinite potential by using natural methods that are truly revolutionary. Join us now for the ecosystem approach show. We expect all forms of self-help to be good for you. Today, we're going to explain how most forms of self-improvement can or might be bad for you. We will talk about a natural way to make yourself better in a way that is always satisfying and beneficial to you and how to treat yourself like an ecosystem you are or the ecosystem that you are versus programming techniques that treat you like a machine. Stay tuned. We're married intuitives with over 25 years of experience who created the ecosystem approach. This is a groundbreaking way to see yourself in the age of Aquarius. We help you unleash healing and potential that is unknown today and is totally unique to you personally. If this is not your type of, uh, excuse me, this is not your typical type of energy work. We help you with life-changing internal discovery that is powerful, rational, practical, and useful for everyday life. Jason, that was a pretty bold statement of um, saying why, or saying that self-help is bad for you. And my question is, why? Because it's framed and implemented in ways that are contrary to the way humans are designed. Mm. So let me explain that. Okay. Um, We're designed to be an ecosystem, first of all. Okay. Um, And that ecosystem includes an energy field Mm-hmm. And the and the primary one is your soul. We call it essence. Yes. Um, people, the poets have used have have referred to the soul for years, for thousands of years. Exactly. And the musicians, it, without soul, you you wouldn't have as many lyrics as you do now. That's correct. But no one really understands good or bad. Yes. <laughs> no one really understands how how they how they can be beneficial. How the soul is actually running the the uh the shows is so supposed to, to run the show correct programming just gets in the way of that and says no mm-hmm. i'm not gonna let your soul run you which yes. is the way it was way we're designed mm-hmm. it says hey we're gonna do it um this way in a programmed way yes okay you know let me give some examples okay. um, um and and i'm giving these examples because i spent years um, working with these things myself. And we're going to talk about that in the third segment. But um, neuro-linguistic programming, NLP, positive mental attitude. Um, mm-hmm. Benjamin Franklin had these virtues that he said, if you if you focused on one virtue every month for 12 months, that, and then you start all over again, he had 12 virtues, you know, um, you would become a better and better person. Okay. You know, the, the idea was to kind of uh, force yourself focus on a certain mm, thing okay um science denies the existence of the soul because it's intangible and you can't measure it mm-hmm. but it can only be accessed through intuition yes. so as we call ourselves intuitives we have complete access to knowing how our soul works yes and frankly everybody out there today has access to knowing how their soul works if it wasn't for the blocks of programming programming yes because programming um, trains you to look outside of yourself for the answers as opposed to inside, which mm-hmm. is where inside, outside, that's where the, your soul um, 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 lives, where, so to speak. Exactly. Yeah. And where you connect with yes, your soul. Exactly. Okay. So, um, um, and it was never considered a, a legitimate human ability. We, we said we have five sex, senses, mm-hmm. you know, to us, we have six senses of that sixth sense, which is yeah. your intuition. Correct. And, and part of using the ecosystem approach is um, your intuition naturally develops. Yes. It's not something you focus on. It's something that just comes as a result. And, Correct. and we've talked about that in other shows, but here's the, here's the thing that happens. And let's talk about habits because, 
there's um, the the um, Benjamin Franklin virtues, which are just build, building good habits. Okay, we've heard this book about atomic habit habits, which um, he says in the in the uh, intro that hey, you can. This is evidence based. In other words, science has proven that this is true. Okay, and I have no doubt that that's the case. You know, you can measure, you can you can treat someone like NLP. You can you can work with someone a certain way and prove within um, um, that that they can be more effective after a period of time. Okay. The question is, should you be, should you work that way? Okay. You know, if it's, it, science doesn't know that you're not designed that way because it doesn't access um, intuition or acknowledge the soul or the human or, aspect of all of it. Yes. This, this part of, part of human being that is intangible, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, they say that at the moment of death, your chemistry is exactly the same as when you were alive. Okay. And there's the, the, the what's the difference? Well, we know yes. that that difference is your essence leaves your body. Correct. And that's what powers everything. That's what that's the um the the prime directive. That's the um, That's the basis of who you are. Exactly. And 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 I'm going to jump in and I'm probably going to, you know, mess the whole section up, but when when we don't connect with the power of who we are, there is so much lost. There is so much blocked. There is so much that gets in the way of, of not only who you are, but for you to understand who you are. Well, and that's what we're talking about today. And yes. right now we're we're gonna talk more about that in this next segment. Okay. Right now we're gonna talk about okay, so if you try and develop these good habits, what happens? Well, it becomes a compulsion. Mm -hmm. We see a compulsion as negative energy. Now, if you've been listening for a while, you've heard that we take care of my mom who's got dementia. Mm -hmm. All that's left, um, she she functions fairly well, but all that's left are her compulsions. She can't think that this she should do this or do that. All she does is what's based on um, um, uh, compulsions that she's had for a long time. Correct. And there's no way to say, okay, this is good or this is bad. Right. Compulsions or habits mm -hmm. um, taken to the extreme can be very, very negative. Let me give an example. Uh, we were talking about this. Okay, we were um, earlier. Earlier. Um, the, the Let's say you had developed a habit of being on time. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Yes. Um, and I can see as it becomes a compulsion, mm -hmm. you can be very abusive with other people to make sure that you're on time. Right. Running people over, um, 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 I'm going 80 miles an hour down the highway yes. when the speed limit is 60 or whatever. Okay. You know, or um, 25. You know, uh -huh. um, almost killing that little old lady that was trying to cross the street, that right. sort of thing. Right. You know, compulsions are things that you do without without really conscious thought. Correct. And when you lose that conscious thought, you lose your free will. Yes. And most programming, they program if you if you accept this program, if you program yourself, if you, mm -hmm. even if you choose the program, yeah, it can become a compulsion, and then you lose your free will. And when you lose your free will, you lose your connection to your essence. We see that when you have your your essence working properly, you can say to yourself, "What's the best way for me to behave in this in this situation Correct. at this time?" Yeah, um, and by know. the way, you can do it instantaneously, right? But yes. if you do have a habit that's a compulsion, yes. you may not have any other choice. Exactly. You know, we've talked about the Enneagram, which is a, a personality typing system, and that talks about different compulsions. Each type has a set of compulsions. Yes. And um, um, we could talk some more about that. We've talked about more of that in, in other um, shows. Um, other shows, yeah. So why is programming so toxic? Well, it mm -hmm. denies the soul. There also there's so much negative in energy. Um, in the world that's attached to your essence, we don't seem to be able to see or trust mm -hmm. our own essence. And right. and the truth is that there is a lot of negative energy. So if you just switch gears, you know, if you just say, okay, I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm not going to be a machine anymore. Right. I'm going to just um, operate from my essence. That probably wouldn't work either because you'd, you have to deal with the negative energy that's already present. Exactly. And and so one of the reasons I'm going to jump in and do a really good plug for us, one of the things that's so amazing about the ecosystem approach is we start to remove negative energy. Yes, you can start a little bit at a time. And what happens is, is there's a clarity that happens. Yes. Um, and the clarity is an un, it becomes an understanding um, of who you are. And you can then actually have the choice. Do I like this about me or don't I? And 
you can remove things that you don't like. Now, some things, some things take longer than others. Well, and 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 people might misunderstand that because okay. it's not like you're choosing which traits you want, and which traits you don't want. The truth is, we have traits that um, that come naturally that are part of us. Yes. Some of those traits, um, if you if you don't like that trait, chances are it's got negative energy attached to it already. A good. That's a really good point. And and that you've been programmed yes. in childhood that says, "Oh, you're yes. you're not smart enough. You're you're you you're, you're not pretty enough. You're not strong sure. enough. You know, you're not manly enough. You're mm -hmm. not uh, right. feminine enough. All those things. Right. Here's the thing about um, um, when people program themselves. Last thing. When they choose, I'm going to choose this programming. We've had clients come to us. I want to. I want to be like this person, right? You know, this famous person, and they want to program themselves, mold themselves into that person. Mm -hmm. Well, if they're not that person, it's going to be like swimming upstream um, with a very, very hard current. When you try and choose who you are, your ego is is disconnected from your essence, and it it. It um, supports the lowest form of human emotions like selfishness and greed. Right. A healthy essence supports your ego to help you with um, 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 aspirations and goals that are connected to who you are authentically. Yes. That's how your ego is supposed to work. And we see that. And we know that everybody could see that if they had a certain level of intuition. Correct. All that information is out there now. Correct. Jason, what is the quick tip of this uh, segment? Traditional self-help is bad for you and can be very toxic. They typically treat people like a machine, which is at odds with the way we are designed. Many forms of self-help seek to program you or create positive habits, which can easily become compulsions. Compulsions take away free will and a human's ability to act in a way that is the most, evo most evolved. Um, programming from others or even when the individual chooses to program in a particular way is motivated by ego in the lowest form. Right. Self-help often leads to compulsions that take away free will. Mm -hmm. Self-help seeks to teach you, to tell you how to uh, you should be in the world versus uncovering who you are authentically and letting your essence say, this is who I am. Yes. In the next segment, we're going to talk about the alternative to programming yourself like a machine. Ooh, this is going to be fun. The um, alternative is seeing yourself like an ecosystem and why that is the best way to live. This is the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason and Patricia, and you're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. This is the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason, and I'm Patricia. And in this segment, we're going to talk about the alternative to programming yourself like a machine. The alternative is seeing yourself like an ecosystem and why that is the best way to live. By the way, well said, Jason. All right, Jason, I know it's one of your biggest frustrations. Um, why does everyone seem to advocate for programming and treating themselves like a machine um well the reason is because we don't know anything different it's been that way for so long it's been that way for so long okay and okay. programming creates blocks to your essence mm -hmm. and pretty soon you become numb in that place sure you know if you think of your essence as a place um you become numb about um um working you know acting from your essence okay and um um, the other thing is that science, you can't look at your soul under a microscope. You can't measure your soul. Okay. And, and, um, science doesn't like things that are, um, ambiguous. It doesn't like things that, um, it can't be proven with numbers, can't be proven with number, can't be, um, measured with a metric, you know, or all touched, these that yeah. kind of thing. Sure. I, you know, I understand that. So, yeah. so, um, and I see that in the turn of the century, they, you know, we started with the, um, uh, not this century, but the last century. Yeah. Um, machine age. Sure. So, so we said well, we could, if we create machines and make them more efficient, mm -hmm. we can produce more goods and services. Goods because for because the population was starting to get so large and so big all around the world. Well, it's because people were making money from it. Well, but, okay. You know, you know, hey, I was of, I was going with uh, what they they instead yeah, of going know. to a cobbler and having a pair of shoes made that would take 
you know, three or four days, mm -hmm, at least. You, you could go to a factory and just crank them out. Yes. And they become cheaper. And, you know, it, it was it was an economic driver. But pretty soon they started to, to treat people that way. Say, OK, well, you can be more efficient if you do things this way. You can be more efficient right. if you do things this way. Right. And and there's nothing wrong with that per se. Right. Um, we were just talking about uh, I used to live in Detroit mm -hmm. and I knew so many people who lived who worked in the factory. There was drug addiction. There was depression. They they were bored. Mm -hmm. um, um, you said well, and I I was saying I lived really close to uh, um, uh, before I met you. I lived uh, fairly close to Fremont, where um, um, and of course Ken, General, General General Motors yeah. was, and um, uh, I knew several people, especially that I went to school with. Um, that's one of the very first places they went because the money was really really good. And um, about once a month, um, I would hear through the grapevine or even talk to a person directly. And they would say that so-and-so at my job, um, they, you know, they lost it uh, on the line because um, they'd had enough of doing one thing over and over that repetition thing. But also um, drug and alcohol abuse was really big. But one of the biggest things that was actually talked about was the abuse of the person that worked at General Motors, the abuse that the the, the family it received, abuse of people, really created because of they couldn't handle it of that repetition and the one thing, same thing over and over and over again. And no for, creativity for us. That's so obvious. Yeah, that's the reason that that that's so toxic to your mental yes. health. Yes, is because it's toxic programming, treating people like you're a machine. Yeah, that you do rep repetition over and over again. Right. Um. Um, is not um, healthy. No, not at all. So, so not to mention the injuries, the physical injuries. I hadn't even thought about that. Exactly. Yeah. Um, recently, I came upon this idea about permaculture. You know, Patricia's a big gardener, and this idea of permaculture is where you can um, use a method of growing which is basically in line with with nature. Mm -hmm. And they have so many. If you look it up online, you'd Google it or something, you can see all these pictures of, of areas that were barren, yes. barren land, and That's all of correct. a sudden they become like an oasis. Yes. Um, full of in the middle of a de desert yes. or in the yes. middle of a um, you know, a place where things hadn't been growing or things had been destroyed. In a way, we are doing permaculture for human beings. Yeah. Because if you've like ever that. been pushed aside or 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 considered someone who's um, a throwaway or even mm -hmm. even that you feel like you haven't lived up to the potential that you believe that you should right um accessing your essence is the way to to really flourish it is you know permaculture they talk about food forests where they can feed everybody correct there's there's a, a, a sufficient abundance for everybody right. that nature um in a natural way has enough for everybody now of course, there's a political thing about that. And yeah, can, we're not talking yeah. about that. Yeah, yeah. But the idea is that a healthy ecosystem is sustainable. Well, and and one one of the things I and I just thought about this. One of the things I I actually last year I had this amazing, wonderful garden, and um, see, I was uh, talking to somebody, and when I walked away, I would just like, oh, okay, I'm not feeling as good as I did a few minutes ago. One of the things I would do is I would actually take five minutes and go out and stand in the middle of my garden. And I would feel so much better because the energy in my garden was about life yes, and growing and, and being able to give to, um, to someone that needs life and needs nutrition. Our programming ourselves takes away the life from ourself. It really does. So, so let's talk about what it is. Okay, what it would be like if you had a healthy ecosystem. Oh, I like or that. a healthy essence. Yeah. They're, they're kind of the same. Yes, and and what life would be like yeah. if that happened. Yeah, you know, first of all, it'd be completely sustainable. Mm -hmm. The idea that you would ever have to motivate yourself is so, um, <laughs> um so strange to a right. healthy ecosystem because it just is. You don't have to motivate it to do anything. It knows knows right. what it is, who that it is. is. Correct. That is um, correct. If you know, if you, I'm talking about humans now. You would know who you are, mm -hmm. what you're here to do, and you would you would do it. You would not just you wouldn't have to motivate yourself. You would have to do it. Now people say, "Well, I'm naturally lazy." I don't think that I don't anybody agree. is naturally lazy. Mm -mm. If you're if you feel lazy, or if you've ever had that label um, pushed upon you, it's only because you don't know who you are. 
Your and essence is, is blocked. Your essence is blocked by negative energy that's blocking you from your creativity, your motivation, your, um, well, your health, and and um, even your happiness. In this world today, if, yes. you, if you can't be programmed, yeah. you get pushed aside. I know when I was in the Army, Army story, warning, warning. Anyways, um, when I was in the Army, I, I saw a lot of guys go through basic training mm -hmm. who, couldn't, who couldn't handle it. Um, they couldn't handle the um, the structure of you know polishing your boots and and mm -hmm. and making your bed. And some of these guys were really smart. They just they just couldn't be regimented that way. Okay. And um, um, they you know some of them actually were um, were removed from the army. And the shame of that, I can imagine how that would affect yeah. you for the rest of your life. Yeah. I'm um, sure. But so you never have to if you have a healthy essence and ecosystem you never have to try and believe in yourself right you just do it's, it's pretty awesome it's supposed to be it's that, pretty you know, awesome um um you never need to figure out the right time timing happens in a natural way right you know um you, you see all these love stories but wrong time wrong place sure you know chances are you just naturally gravitate toward the right time and the right place addiction suicides depression that that seems um, that is so toxic. That is a, a, re a reflection of a very unhealthy ecosystem. Absolutely. You know, disease and illness. There's a lot of disease and illness that we have today mm -hmm. that would never happen mm -hmm. uh, with healthy ecosystems. Right. And the universe is organized um, to support a healthy ecosystem. Correct. You know, it's you. You have a lot of um, additional power that you have access to. Yeah. If, if you're in in harmony with first of all yourself yes and then with with those things around you now our world today is kind of perverted and it's not that clean and simple not anymore but i wanted to i gave those examples because okay um people don't understand what a healthy ecosystem is anymore no, they don't. we've forgotten we're yeah. numb to it it's just so so way out there yeah so so okay so i i have i have another question so if we have a healthy ecosystem, Jason. Mm -hmm. Talk about that just a little bit. Well, the importance of it, of course. Well, physically, if okay. we're physically healthy, we would nav naturally gravitate toward healthy food. Correct. You know, we eat. Um, um, some person recently said we 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 eat weird. <laughs> and yes, it's we only because you know. Um, um, you look at our, our the groceries when we go through the grocery line. You know, there's all these fresh fresh uh, vegetables, and, and then there's um, 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 there's there's no junk food. Nope. There's there's none of that. And compared to other people, you know, it's mm -hmm. it's so it's strange. It's yeah. weird. Yes, you know. Is. And we've had a lot of comments made to us because of that. And, yes. And we're not obsessive about it. We just we you know we haven't. How, it's been so long since we went to a fast food place. I mean, it's been <laughs> it's been years. Yeah, you know? it has. And um, um, so we, we just gravitated. We don't have to force ourselves to do yeah. that. It's just like, what do you want to eat? Well, we don't want to eat junk. We want to eat good stuff. Right. Well, and and you know the the one of the things that I see that unhealthy food does. I'll put it that way, fast food and and really processed food, it helps reinforce that negative energy that's around your essence. It's just another yes. another way to say um, you can't have and you can't be um, the best that uh, you want to be. Well, exactly. Another thing, and we see this around us because we, we live in an area where there's a lot of retired people around um, that are our age. We're yes. not retired. We don't, we don't, we'll we don't never plan retire. On it. Yes. Yeah. But, um, um, they get lazy about walking or exercising or going outside or right, you right, know right, and right, right. and frankly it's natural for the human body to want to move and to feel fresh air yes. and to be outside right um it's natural yes well and and i have to admit um we have two dogs that really uh, demand that we because uh, it's natural for them too it's natural for them as well and it's so nice and um uh, but we we've, we've had people say you guys i mean you're out there continuously yeah we are it feels good to us we know it feels good to our our dogs and we also know it's in our best interest we have all these people around us who who struggle to take care of themselves oh they do and sad um when your essence and your ecosystem is healthy yeah you want to take care of yourself. 
Yes, exactly. So, um, Jason, what is the quick tip for this segment? The machine age started the idea of making humans more efficient like machines, right. but we um, were already disconnected from our essence. So no one said we can train people to be more efficient, but should we train them to be that way? Yes. Um, most self-help would be completely unnecessary if people had a healthy ecosystem that was connected to their essence. Physical, mm -hmm. mental, and emotional health would come naturally and needing to motivate yourself or needing to eat and exercise in a way healthy way would seem weird because, of course, we do all those things naturally. Exactly. In the next segment, we're going to talk about how to improve yourself and help yourself evolve in a way that is more natural and in line with who you are authentically. Wow. This is the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason and Patricia, and you're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. This is the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason, and I'm Patricia. And in this segment, we're going to talk about how to improve yourself and to help yourself evolve in a way that is more natural. I love that part. And in line with who you are authentically. You know, there's nothing better than being authentic, especially with yourself, Jason. Uh, I know that wasn't in the script, but I just, well, I just wanted well, to put you know, that out there. The truth is, is that... Um, We've been doing this for so long. One of my biggest regrets, I did the self-help thing with with the NLP and um, right. positive mental attitude. Right. I have a whole long list that I've written out. It's, it must be 30, 40 different things. It doesn't stay with you. Oh. But I, now, as, I, as I've as i been doing the ecosystem approach, we've been doing this for like 25 years. Yes. Um, I just want to do it more. Every day we get up and we, yeah. we want to do some more. We do. And, and we do, by the way. And and yeah. um, we're always working with each other, clearing. And, yes, and yes. And removing negative energy. And we're going to talk about how to clear in a few minutes. Yes, yes. exactly. And it's um, my biggest regret is that I, I wasted so much time with the self-help that wasn't natural to me. Time and money. Yes, time yes. and money. Yes. Um, where I could have been working on myself. We've been doing this for 25 years. I think... A lot of times, oh my gosh, if I had another 10 years, yeah. another 20 years that I was doing this um, when I was younger. And, wow, and, where and I'd I, be. I know that um, we're both um, we're both in our 70s. And <laughs> thanks for thanks yeah. for letting everybody know yeah, that, yeah, Jason. Well, yeah, thanks. It's 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 uh, happy to do that. But <laughs> you know, we expect to live, you know, a very full vital life yes. um, with complete command of our physical bodies. Because um, it's natural for us to do that. It is, you know. It is. Um, yes. We we exercise a lot, but it's not it's it's not that. It's just um, th the most important thing that helps you with aging is being connected to your essence. That's correct. And your purpose. That's yes. where your purpose resides. Exactly. And if you're expressing your purpose every day, it's um, it's it's the most healthy thing you can do. And you can't go wrong yeah. with that. It's so. Amazing. I think about the clients that we have that are in their twenties or younger, and, mm -hmm. and, and and we do what what the po po possibility they have to be oh. to, to work with energy for you know um, sixty years or and not years. And not only be the possibilities not only for them but what they can help the world do. Yes, I think that is just you know, and and I realize that my um, my goal here is to help. Um, somebody every single day do something amazing for themselves. Exactly. You know that's 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 my goal. So, Jason, let's 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 talk about. Um, well, here's the other thing that we have to talk about. Okay? okay. You can't just switch cold turkey, and it's okay. Uh, you know, I'd like to say that's you, you don't have to do Wouldn't programming anymore. Yeah. You can just you can just um, do the ecosystem approach and do that um, starting today, and everything's going to be fine. It's not. It takes a while. It needs a transition program. Well, process. That's correct. You know, and um, um, it's because we don't know how to do it the ecosystem approach way. We only know how to do it the programmed way. That's correct. So there's going to be some overlap and some, mm -hmm. and and that's for you to decide as you go through this because we're all different. We're all different, and. Mm -hmm. Part of the ecosystem approach is is not to have one size fits all, but right. to say, okay, let's see who you are first, and then um, let your essence tell you how you should um, go from here. And 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 it's the most awesome thing is when you start to 
hear or understand what your essence is telling you and how you do that is by using the ecosystem exactly. approach so jason you have a i a created things. seven set steps and I, I don't like to do formulas i know you, you know I've, I've told i've said that before because you know formula kind of boxes you in sure but if you were to get started today okay um here's how you do it um you remove the negative energy around the issues that you have right now Okay. Is it a relationship issue? Is it a money issue? Is it a health issue? Correct. Um, is it all of those issues? Is it all of those issues? Right. What's the most important? Correct. You don't have to choose just one. You can do two at a time or Well, whatever. because most of us are multitasking anyway. And, and in just a minute, we're going to show you how to remove negative energy. Correct. And, um, um, uh, but that's the first thing. Just start where you are. Okay. The second one is focus as much time on covering who you are versus trying to attain your goals. Correct. A lot of people do this backwards where they try and they determine their goal but before they know who they are. Right. Actually, um, um, I've been married. Choosing choosing someone to marry before I knew who I was. And and, that and excuse me. I, I, and, and how did you? It wasn't. It, she's, the, she's the love of my life, but it wasn't her, you know, and um, um <laughs> Uh, it, and I was going to say, how'd that go, how'd that how'd that work out for you, Jason? <laughs> when, when you when you choose a partner without knowing who you are, oh, it's it, it's 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 just it. You don't realize until it's it until you're too late. Boomerangs yes, on you is exactly. the best way for you know. Well, and you know what? Um, I I want to um, um, if you don't know who you are, right now, think. Well, I have no idea who I am. First off, the ecosystem approach, because when you start removing the negative energies that are covering you up of who you are and you start to see who you are, you go, oh, my gosh, what I could do with that. Yes. And that's that's pretty darn um, cool. I, I will say it, say it that way. And the other thing is, is that when you start to figure out who you are, sure, you're going to question, oh, is this right? Is this wrong? But before you weren't questioning a thing. Well, you were and just doing the program thing. For those of you that are listening, and I can I can just feel it, where you've been trained in childhood mm -hmm. that who you are isn't right, isn't good enough, isn't isn't the way it's supposed to be. Um, it it may take you a little longer, right? But it still works. It's still as you remove the negative energy, that that feeling that you're not good enough is negative energy, and it can be cleared. Well, and 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 I I realize we're taking time with this, but the. One of the most important things I discovered, I mean, I've always known that I've had intuition and, um, but I was also told I shouldn't use it. And, um, but when I started to uncover myself, I realized not only do I have this ability to have intuition, not only read myself, but read others, but that I could do some amazing things in that understanding and help others with that. And before I was told I had no value yeah. in anything. Yes. yes. So um, so focus as much time on uncovering yourself versus trying to attain your goals. That's right. two. Three, start to see the world as energy and mm -hmm. what energies are blocking you mm -hmm. and what's are supporting you. So if you can see what's blocking you and see it as an energy, yes. then it can be removed. And we're going to show you this in just a second yes, here. Yes, we are. So that's, that's really, really positive. Um, and switch from focusing on plans and goals to seeing energies around you can very in, can be very instructive. Yes. So number four, determine your enneagram type, and that's a personality typing system that tells you what your compulsions are. The enneagram we see the enneagram as a personality typing system that helps you un see the negative energy that's attached to your essence. Correct. And that's your personality type. Yep. So if you see that that you know, for example, um, um. We use that to say, okay, you're you're. We've been working with with you from both of us actually. Our enneagram type doesn't suit who we are authentically. No, no. And now that we've moved so much energy, we start to say, oh my gosh, yeah, I was I was this way all my life, but that wasn't who I was. Exactly who I am. So, um, five, get your astrology natal chart. That's what we use to sort kind of be your north star to guide you about who you are authentically. Right, and. Um, and it's good for your life plans and and to start to guide you before you can have that internal voice that says, okay, go this way or do right. this or whatever. Okay. And then six, listen to the show every week. We teach you about energy every single week Correct. from a different perspective. Mm -hmm. We use we include clearings at the in the fourth segment. 
And um, um, after a while, you'll just get the hang of it. And then the most important thing is sign up for our free section. Correct. Um, on our website, theecosystemapproach.org. And there's a free section. You sign up for our free section. You get our a weekly clearing list and newsletter mm -hmm. that's connected. And he's to always the, making fun of me. Yes, that's so, connected to the topic of the, of uh, the day. Uh, yeah. All right, Jason, um, let's do the quick tip and then let's talk about how we're going to okay. um, how to teach everyone how to do the clearing. We don't suggest you make a complete switch from programming self-help to using the ecosystem approach. Start by focusing on the on the issues and challenges you have now, mm -hmm. then work with the ecosystem approach, the benefits that are, when you work with the ecosystem approach, the benefits are cumulative and increase over time. Here are the seven steps. Remove the negative energies around the issues you have. Focus as much time on covering who you are versus trying to attain your goals. Three, start to see the world as energy and what energies are blocking you. Four, determine your Enneagram type. Five, get your astrology natal chart. Six, Listen to the show every week. Seven, sign up for a free section. Exactly. And um, and by the way, you'll be well on your way. And that's amazing. So we're gonna Jason's gonna tell us how to do um the clearing or removing negative energy. And um then we'll uh, take a short break and then and I know Moxie's gonna put up the 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 uh the picture processor. of the processor yes. right now. So it's very simple. You use most of it, you, you do it in your imagination. Mm -hmm. So when we say and to eliminate in your imagination, imagine gathering up what we say to eliminate veils and illusions, barriers, specific emotions, correct. And just gather them up and then blow them gently, take a gentle breath, blow them into that processor and, and uh, just picture that processor in your mind, exactly. blow it into that. If you don't have a, if you can't, if you're just listening right now, you're not seeing this on video, right. um, just imagine a trash can and exactly. we'll empty that trash can. Exactly. And the reason that we use the processor slash trash can is because you're doing all this work, you're removing this negative energy, It that negative energy needs to go somewhere. You put it in the top of the trash can or the processor, and if you're using the processor, it gets processed and um, because there's like a radiator on the processor, and um, it uh, gets processed through all those little, those little spaces, and it comes out neutral. And just doing that alone is so good, not only for you, but for our entire planet, because we're changing negative into neutral, and then we can change it into positive. Yeah. So with that said, stay tuned when we come back. We're going to help you get started treating yourself as an ecosystem. This is the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason and Patricia, and you're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. This is the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason and I'm Patricia. And in this segment, we're going to help you get started treating yourself as an ecosystem because that's exactly who you are. If you're ready, Jason, take it away. Here we go. I direct all my resources and all dimensions to eliminate the veils and illusions so I can see that most self-help is toxic and dis disconnects you from your essence. So nice and easy. What you're going to do is you're going to um, uh, pull the negative energies up from the tips of the veils and illusions, veils and illusions, and you're going to throw them away. I like to throw things away to the left. That's how I see it. Doesn't mean you have to, but that's how I see it. It's easier. I see that the negative energy moves easier to the left. Take one more breath on that veils and illusions and throw it away. Those veils and illusions are toxic. Here's some more. And I'm going to shorten it up just a little bit and to eliminate the veils and illusions so I can see that compulsive behaviors called habits can and probably are toxic to you from the tips of your toes and throw them away. Throw them in that, into that processor or garbage can, Jason. And to eliminate the stress, anxiety, and overwhelm that I have right now. Nice. Gather up that stress and anxiety and overwhelm, blow it throw into it the away. processor. And to eliminate the veils and illusions so I can see that self-help discards essence and says, we know better. And the answer is, Jason? No. Very good. All right. <laughs> no. Pick it up. Throw it away. Doesn't know better than your essence. Exactly. And You're to eliminate um, um, any any need I have to be like someone else doing self-help. Yeah. Um, rather, being me authentically is always best. Yes. Take a breath.
and to eliminate the barriers so I can see that using the ecosystem approach builds on itself. And the longer I do it, the more I want and the more satisfying it becomes for my life. Take a breath and blow out any negative energies. That's the barriers. And to eliminate the veils and illusions so I can see programming doesn't last and requires constant effort. Yes. Take, Take a, a breath. breath. And blow it out. And to eliminate the um, intense feelings of worry, anxiety, and stress that I have because I am disconnected from my own essence. You don't need that. It's okay to connect with your essence. Take a breath. Intense feelings. Throw them away. And to eliminate the veils and illusions so I can see that a healthy essence creates the positive attributes naturally mm -hmm. that self-help pushes you to have. Yes, take a breath. And to eliminate the veils and illusions so I can see that a healthy human ecosystem never needs to be motivated. Take a nice breath. And to eliminate the veils and illusions so I can see that Goals and aspirations that come from a healthy essence create a natural motivation and perseverance. Yes, take a breath. You know, once I had a just a small taste of, of removing negative energy, it was motive enough for me. I could not stop, yes. and I've been at it for 25 years. Yes. So that's pretty cool. So, and to eliminate the veils and illusions so I can see that a healthy essence takes care of itself. Wow. Craves a good diet and wants to exercise and wants to take care of itself. Nice and easy as it was intended. Take a breath and blow out anything that's blocking you. Jason? And to eliminate the veils and illusions so I can see that a healthy essence attracts positive relationships and is attractive to others. Very nice. Take a breath. Jason, we ready for some life force? Let's do it. All right, here we go. Follow along, everyone. I direct all my resources in all dimensions to activate life force so I can use life force. By the way, the most powerful energy that anyone has access to this this life force it's around us everywhere everywhere we go all the time so i activate that life force i'm going to pull it in through the top of my head and i'm going to let it go all the way down to the tips of my toes i'm going to stop it right there i'm going to ask it to turn around and pick up negative energy more negative energy and get rid of that negative energy so i can be the best of me blow it out Jason. And to activate life force um, so I can have hope to have a healthy ecosystem and essence that I use to have a great life. Take a breath. Pull it in and blow it out. And to activate life force so I can trust my essence is the best self-help guru for me. Pull it in and blow it out. And to activate life force so I can decide to focus on my essence and removing the toxins from my ecosystem. Nice. Pull it in. And blow it out. Last one, Jason. And to activate life force so I can be happy and healthy, have laughter and love and fun, be objective, um, have uh, clarity and courage and confidence about who I am and um, really enjoy the journey of using the ecosystem approach starting right now today for me. Pull it in, tips of your toes, turn it around, get rid of negative energy that's blocking you from that request just to be happy alone. Jason, what are we gonna talk about next week? This is um, something we've never done before. Okay. It's really kind of out there, but Promises, vows, curses, contracts, and plain old obligations. Oh, my. And, you know, as we get more and more advanced, we continue to, to clear ourselves first. Yes. Um, um, and then we, we're still working with other other clients. Correct. We see these, these literally the, these curses, these, exactly. you know, and that sounds very witchcrafty and it's not meant to be, but there's energy. So, mm -hmm. so when, um, oh, gone with the wind. Okay. On um, what you said, um, 
um, as God is my witness, I'll be, ne I'll never be hungry again. That's correct. You know, um, that was, a, that was a, a curse, a vow. No, it actually, it was a vow. I guess it was called a vow. Yes, yeah. it was. Um, you know, um, I know that, um, 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 there was, you know, people have these vows in marriage. Yes. And, but they have no idea who they are. And so how do you know what you're going to feel exactly. or be in a few years? And how can you uh, make that promise and, without knowing? Exactly. And it's, and it's not an easy thing to do. You so may not know the future, but if you know who you are, you know that, yes. ah, and once you know who you are, you also see who the other person is much more clearly. Exactly. And, and not only your motives, but their motives. Yeah. And that's, that's really, um, you're going to, I, I guarantee you're going to go, Oh, okay. So that's, you know, if you think about it. And 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 the other thing is is that I have seen cultures that um actually have curses on them. And um uh well, here's here's one and it's not a it's not a culture. I see that women have accepted the curse of being second or second rate. And yes, of course there's at least one in every crowd who just becomes just ragingly you know mad about that well if we all started removing our own personal curses we could do a whole lot more as women not only individually but together um to make this earth a better place we have so many clients that we work with um uh, on a regular basis who we're helping them remove the the curse Yes. That came from their childhood, yes. from their family. Yes. You know, um, and you're one of them. I am one of them. So, by so, all so this, you got to listen to this show. It's, it's, it's pretty big. So, yes. um, so if, if something today really touched your heart nice. and it, you have, you're thinking about something that you've never considered before, go to our website right now, the mm -hmm. ecosystem approach dot org mm -hmm. and sign up for a free section you'll get the weekly uh, list of clearings it's all written out what you have to say mm -hmm. the picture of the processor is there and right. we have a little bit of uh, a couple paragraphs about the show that we did that week right 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 and and you know i'm gonna just say this have fun with it yeah just have fun jason talk about facebook for just a moment our facebook address is the ecosystem approach dot org um, go to our Facebook page. We have all the videos there. And you right. can, um, um, if you would like us while, while you're there, we'd appreciate it. Okay. All right. We will connect next week, Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific and 4 p.m. Eastern time. This is Transformation Talk Radio. And you're listening to the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason and Patricia. Remember, your ecosystem is the most important one in the world. Thank you for listening to the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason and Patricia. I'm Patricia. Tune in every week as we discuss practical ways to apply the ecosystem approach and develop your potential to live your life on your terms. For more information, visit our website at theecosystemapproach.org.